There was a 0% chance of rain on Saturday in Troy, but for some reason, at the Troy Softball Complex, it was raining dingers. And the Trojans hit two of them in grand style on their way to Mercy ruling Louisiana Monroe in five innings. We're really happy that we got a W. That's what we've been looking for for a while. Yeah, I was really proud of just overall the offense. I thought our quality at bats were off the charts. And I give my two assistants, Taylor Smart and Alex Hupp, a lot of credit. I think they, this morning, came up with a great game plan and really sold it to the hitters. And I think the hitters give them credit for buying in. But I was really proud of Becca Hartley and Jordan Gray, both seniors, of you know taking the most of their opportunities. And again, we've had some really tight games. And you know I think the girls just finally unleashed it today. It's not all about offense, though. In order to be able to beat a team by 10, you have to have good pitching to go along with it. And the Trojans had good pitching throughout the entire weekend series. Couldn't be more proud of our pitching staff. I mean, again, I think, you know, we had a tough weekend against ULL and we got beat up a little bit, but for them to keep their confidence and, again, Claire to go nine innings and then Rigney to go seven, that's, when your pitchers can go the full game, that always helps. And then, you know, we didn't use Meg yesterday, so we were able to start her today and that was key and she did a great job and gave us some innings and then Claire closed the door. So, I mean, we, we were complete. We had pitching, defense, and offense today. So that was, I was proud of them. To go along with her grand slam, senior Becca Harley also had two other hits that rifle past ULM defense and talked about the mentality that she's taken on this season that's allowed her to be so successful. Yeah, I think um, just not being afraid to fail is key uh, in this sport, especially because you do fail so much. Um, but just looking for a good pitch, a pitch that I can hit a long way, and um, that's what I've been getting. So. To get further explanation on Saturday's win for the Trojans, check out this play by Katie Webb, recording the last out of the game. Four o'clock p.m. as the Trojans take on Florida State for a doubleheader. The Trojans women's basketball.